I've been winning from the get go. I've been down with the fast life. So you know. Welcome, Bird Sports followers, to our fifth episode of our preseason football show, The End Zone. I'm here with the Stonebridge football players. Guys, welcome to the show. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So my first question for you guys is, last year, you guys went far. You know, it's the big Stonebridge thing. It's important to go to playoffs. Unfortunately, you guys lost to one of your rivals, Tuscarora, in the playoffs. What did you guys learn as an individual and as a team from that game and throughout that whole season that you guys are going to use for this year? Uh, for this year, uh, learned uh, that we need to be pushing together and uh, bond together and trust uh, everyone to do their job. And, uh, as a new guy, not not being here for that game, I did I did see the game and um, it was an unfortunate loss. But uh, I feel like like me being here and contributing to this team, I just need to get better at my routes, defense, just any, anywhere they need me to just become an all-around player. I was the same as playing. I wasn't here last year. I went to that game and I watched that game, and I think the only thing we need to work on is just finishing out and playing as a team and carrying out the entire game and not giving up, especially with times you're tough at the end of the game. Like Mason said, team chemistry is the most important thing. Being able to rely on the guy next to you, I think we've got to take that from that uh, last year. Okay, my next, my next question for you guys is, um, as an individual and as a team, what did you guys improve on? Did you guys lift more? Did you guys change your diet? I know I saw you at the opening. Some of you guys went to some camps. What were some things that you guys changed this year from last year? Uh, for this year, uh, we decided to uh, go to the weight room more often, you know, with the weights. Uh, and that improved our team chemistry and our strength. Yeah, and um, team chemistry, that was the most important thing. But individually, I felt to me, to benefit this team, I really need to get my speed up. That's why I worked on all, all off-season speed, strength, and just kept doing you know, drills for position. Yeah, we all came out here. I mean, most of the days in the summer, we we're all out here. Even when we had free time, we'd come out here and we'd get some work in, play with each other, throw around with Mason, just get our, get some routes in, get our footwork better, and just try to improve as a team when we can out in all the time. Individually, my biggest thing was gaining weight. I mean, a lot of the offensive line, we had to get bulkier and better, bigger for the next season. Um, also, camps, a lot of the summer, that really helped us get together, get a little bit of work in before the season started. That really helped us. Okay, and then um, for you guys, Coach Thompson has been here since he started the schools. He's had Jonathan Allen, you know, who's now with the Redskins. You know, both his sons played here, both played at West, uh, or excuse me, Wake Forest. And um, his, one of his sons played for the Ravens. I can go on and on about guys who played here and played really far. For Coach Thompson to have some of his former players and for him, uh, for him to help him, what is the biggest thing that Coach Thompson has helped you guys? Um, he helped me... Uh understand to like buy into the system because uh, if you buy in and 100% in then you'll get somewhere. That was the first thing for me too, buying in. Once he got me to do that, it's just building confidence. And he told me like, if I build confidence, you can do a lot for this team. And, you know, we sat down, doing everything we can, and you know, just buy it. I didn't know Coach Thompson very well, but when I first came in here, he treated me like one of his own, and it was really nice welcoming in here. And I think the biggest thing he's taught me is just how to not make excuses and man up and play as a team. And like I said, they all said buy in and just believe in the system and believe because he knows what he's doing and to trust everything. I think he really helped me with my leadership aspect. You know, he taught me how to be a leader, taught me how to role play, make sure that have a team follow you and will buy into you as well as long as much of the team. Okay. And my final question for you guys is um, we want to get back to the community. We have some college coaches who follow us on uh, social media, so we want to help you guys get recruited um, the best way we can. So why should these college coaches recruit you, like say, hey, I'm an impact player, I can make a difference, and Stonebridge is you know, one of the best schools in Northern Virginia. Why should they come recruit you as an individual and come check out this team? Um, they, uh, college coaches should come um, because uh, we're good. Uh, we have a lot of team players. We all play for each other and we do anything for each other. And we have fun doing it. Yeah, the main thing for us is uh, Coach wants us to lead on the field and off the field. And people follow us doing that. So, and all of us got that. College coaches can see that through all of us. And for me, as personal wise, uh, I can, I'm an all around athlete and I can give everything God and leave everything I got on the field, game by game. I agree with Peyton. I feel like I'm a very versatile player. I can play anywhere on the field, and I use that in my attributes. And I think that what separates us is that we're not only just good players on the field, we're good people, and we like to help each other out, and we're good team players. And there's good athletes all around this area, and we play great teams. But what separates us is the, com the camaraderie that we have and the, the desire we have to win and we play as a team. I 
think my size aspect really helps me. I'm one of the bigger kids on the team, probably the tall, or one of the tallest. And also, I think the atmosphere here is like a college game. You know, it's not, it's not a normal high school game. The parents are here. The whole community comes out. Everyone comes out to watch us. And it's a big, good atmosphere that I think people like to enjoy to see. All right, guys, I appreciate you guys being the first part of our short. Berg Sports Fathers will be with Coach Thompson shortly. Sports Fathers, to the second part of our show, I'm here with the longtime Stonebridge head coach, Coach Thompson. Coach, welcome to the show. Thank you. So I've been covering you guys for a long for a long time. You guys have always been dynamic. You guys have always been, you know, the guys are always big and strong. From last year, unfortunately, you guys lost to Tuscarora in the playoffs. What is the biggest thing that you guys learned from that game and from this offseason that you guys are going to take this year? Well, we'll be young on, on defense, so we're going to be more aggressive. But um, in that game, we just didn't finish, you know. So offensively, we're trying to be more productive in, in Big games at finishing drives. Um, we got an opportunity to finish a couple drives there that we didn't do it. So, and I think our kicking game um, will be stronger because uh, Hayden Barron is back, and so hopefully the kicks that got missed won't get missed, and we'll finish some drives. Okay. And my next question for you is, um, what was something that you changed during the off season? Did you tell the guys, hey, to change your diet, to lift more in the weight room? What was some things that you told your guys, hey, we need to get bigger and stronger to win a state championship? What was the biggest thing you told these guys? Well, we, I mean, our, our weight program and the way the kids train and everything, they do a great job. I mean, we have no, they, they do everything that they can do. We got to do um, a better job putting them in the right place, um, forming that, that chemistry that we need to form and, and, you know, finishing. I mean, it's just one of those things where if we finish a few drives, we might win a state championship, you know, and, and some of that is just, Little things that we got to make sure that we take care of, take care of the football a little bit better. Okay, and um, um, we you guys have some impact, you know, guys. Nick is committed to Army. Um, you have another guy who's committed to Navy. The guys that we just talked to, Mason, your quarterback. Um, through those four guys that you just saw, what is the biggest improvement that you've seen through those guys? Well, I think they're all more complete players. Um, you know, one of the things is you can be a great athlete and all that, but can you be a great football player? Can you learn your position? Can you understand the game? And I think all those guys do. I think we've got a lot of guys that have the potential to be really good football players and scholarship football players. But can they make that transition? They're right there, and then can they take that next step? Some of them do, some of them don't, and they end up being more of a Division II type player. So that's kind of where we're at. Uh, we've got a lot of guys that have the potential to be great players this year. And you know, which ones are going to step up and which ones are going to be just good high school players, I don't know. But they're all going to be good, good high school players. Okay, and my final question for you is we want to get back to the community like we said earlier in the show. Um, we have some college coaches that follow us on social media. Um, so for the guys that we just talked to um, and for you, why should these college coaches come to Stonebridge to bring this impact player? Hey, um, we're a powerhouse. You know, we've always gone very far. I could go on and on how many players you guys have had. Jonathan Allen, you know, is with the Redskins. Both your sons have played college. I can go on and on. So why should these college coaches come look at Stonebridge High School? Well, I think, I mean, the success that our kids have once they get to college, and it's one thing to put kids in college and to get somebody to recruit them and get somebody to offer them and them go play football, but what did they do when they get when they got there? For the most part, I mean, we've had some that have struggled, but for the most part, um, all the guys come back and they're really excited about their strength levels, their commitment levels, and how they play athletically. So um, I think our track record, in college of the guys that have gone. Um, I think Division One. I, I think we're at 60, 65 percent or something like that of all the kids that have gone D1 over the years have started. Um, and I think it's like 90 percent have contributed. Um, so they're getting a good football player. So I think that's I think that's the that's the one th thing that's important to me is that when I walk away from here that I got kids that have gone to college and not just gone but been successful. Okay. All right, Coach, I appreciate you being part of the show. Bird Sports followers, we'll see you next time. Songs, tell me when I need to breathe. Let me be the one you need. Never let